Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm here to teach you guys about Windows internals. Yes, I'm finally putting out this course. Honestly, I did finish this course like a month ago, but I was so busy and preoccupied that I never got the time to actually record it. So here I am recording it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So nothing else to do but dive in. <clears throat> so this is the Windows internals course created by yours truly. Um, quick synopsis on the course, right? This will teach you the fundamentals of the Windows operating system. I'm sorry for my camera. Let me see if I can move that up a little bit. There you go. So, yeah, it will teach you the fundamental internals of the Windows operating system. Things like basics of the PowerShell, the command line, file navigation, data management, permissions, and some other stuff. Uh, so quick little little thing on who I am, right? This is me right here. This is also me in the top right corner. Um, yeah, my name is Chris, also known as Blue Cosmo. Um, I am the Chief Executive Officer at Cosmodium CS. Uh, there we teach um, cybersecurity education. We do cybersecurity research and development as well. Um, and yeah, I also was a security educator for Adam Next Gen as well as a malware developer and most notably the YouTuber that uh, you guys are probably watching this platform on. But you can take this course on, actually, I don't know if this is going to be a paid course or not. I think this is a paid course. So it's probably only on the Cosmo MCS website. I may leave like the first episode or two on YouTube so that way you guys can get introduction and see if this is something you want to take. But uh, yeah, regardless, uh, this is, or these are my socials, right? My website, YouTube, and my GitHub. If you want to check out any of those, you guys can. GitHub's actually really cool. I have a lot of cool projects on there if you guys want to check those out as well. Um, so a little bit of the requirements for this course, um, you don't necessarily need, <laughs> um, like any of these operations, it's more of the familiarity with it. Um, I will be having a windows operating system in the background in case if I want to show you guys some cool stuff. Um, it's really easy to get windows virtual machines. I'm sure you can find tons of videos for that. Cause that's not what this is, video is going to be diving into. Um, we at least fam familiarity and I'm sure most of you guys already have a windows operating system already. Um, basic familiarity with, um, yeah, again, with these operating systems and other operating systems as well. If you're familiar with Linux, uh, we actually have a Linux fundamentals course. If you take that course, um, this course will be a lot easier for you to kind of follow along with. So nothing to do, but get started. So windows, windows is the most popular personal, you know, personal computer operating system that there is. Um, for the record, o operating system is also referred as OS. So if you hear me say OS going forward, just know that stands for operating system. Um, it was created by Bill Gates on November 10th of 1983, and it was designed for corporate entities and home users, right? Computers were only a thing for a long time, just for corporate entities and colleges and stuff. But as it became more powerful and like more popular, they started distributing it to the more personal level of personal computing. Um, because it is the most popular operating system, it tends to be the most targeted because most people use it. Um, so you'll see a lot of malware being targeted towards windows. So a lot of people say windows is the most, um, is the most vulnerable operating system. That's not necessarily true. It's more the most targeted, um, operating system. So you can see my man, Bill Gates, that's him right here looking snazzy. Um, yeah, so let's talk about some of the Windows versions. Um, yeah, Windows has a lot of versions. They do. They have, like, it's not even fun. I don't even list all of them. Um, but I'll just show you the most notable ones. All right, so Windows 98, right? This was released June 25th of, you can guess, 1998, right? It's kind of in the name. Um, it was the first to include an integrated web browser, so it included the, you know, Internet Explorer that we know about today. Um, it also had support for USB format, FAT32, and DVD formats. Um, the web server was actually integrated with your file explorer, so I believe you could actually like navigate files in your uh, browser, which was pretty cool. It's like that file protocol that you guys are familiar about. Um, yeah, that was like the logo for it. Yeah. Uh, so Windows 7. Um, this was released in October 22, 2009, not 2007. Uh, fun fact. Um, <laughs> it was the last of these quote unquote vintage operating systems. Again, um, Windows had a lot of versions. Like it's not even funny how many Windows versions there are. Um, but it was kind of like the last of that era of these like vintage OSs before it started moving into the more modern era Windows operating systems. Um, there was a huge malware boom with Windows 7. I don't know what exactly happened, but with Windows 7, it was just so popular. A lot of people loved it that I guess like this whole 
a lot of adware became super popular. Adware was huge uh, with the Windows 7 um, introduction. So I might have to teach a lecture on that if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, but yeah, 20% of personal computers are still running Windows 7. That is crazy because right now the most recent version is Windows 11, I believe. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it's, so that's about 100 million computers are still running this deprecated Windows operating system. So fun fact. Um, and here's the beautiful logo of Windows 7. Uh, so Windows 8, Windows 8 was released in October 26, 2012, not 2008, right? Um, it was the first modern operating system by Windows, right? Um, it was kind of a step out of this, like, I was talking about like the vintage OS now to the more modern OS. Um, it's kind of interesting, uh, that step, but um, they had touchscreen support, which is why their start menu was so interesting. Um, definitely faster than the previous operating systems. It was actually the most disliked version of Windows. I never really used Windows 8. I'm a Linux guy, but um, I've. It's interesting because a lot of people didn't like Windows 8. I can't personally speak up on it. Um, I don't know exactly why people didn't like it. I just know that a lot of people didn't like it. Um, <laughs> and here was the Windows 8 logo, right? It was uh, kind of like the Windows 7, but a little bit more modern, right? It has like a angled window type thing. Uh, Windows 10. So this was released on July 29th, 2015, or 2015, excuse me. Um, it was the most notable of any of these releases. Um, it had pre-built security features, things like um, was Windows Defender and things like that. Um, they introduced Microsoft Edge, so they got rid of uh, Windows Explorer. And it's currently the most used version of Windows right now. Most people are on Windows 10 as of this recording. Um, it is what Windows stated as their last release. So they said, hey, we're making Windows 10, we're not making anything else, and we're just going to keep updating it. Kind of like Minecraft, right? They don't make a Minecraft 2. They just kind of keep updating Minecraft over and over again to add new features. That was kind of what they were going to do with Windows 10. And there's the logo. Windows 11, I know, Cosmo, didn't you just say that Windows was like, no, nah, we're not going to release any more versions? Well, they lied to you. They released a new one. Uh, late last year, October 25th, or October 5th, 2021, and the newest release of Windows as of right now. So yeah, they, they said that was the last release, and then they released a new window, so I don't know. Good job, Windows. Um, it is the most secure version of Windows currently. Um, they, at least that's what they say, right? Um, <laughs> and then I see malware developers still creating some crazy stuff, so, uh, but yeah, Windows uh, 11, um, it's the newest. It has like this uh, front facing window. So they got rid of the angle and it's just straight. They got rid of the little colors too. It's just like a like a little weird kind of a wild blue type thing. It's not like Crayola. I don't know what color that is. It's blue. It's blue. That's what it is. Uh, Windows Server. So Windows Server has been around for a brick, right? It is <laughs> it has been out since uh, 2003 um, till currently. And they have multiple versions of Windows Server. Um, I wasn't going to dive into every year of Windows Server, but it's a server. A server is just a computer you can connect to remotely, right? Um, so it was a Windows operating system on a server, right? So you can remotely connect into some sort of Windows operating system and interact with the command line and things like that. Um, excuse me. It was released or it's used to host different services. So if you have some sort of management system or um, I don't know website or something i don't know whatever you want to use it for you can use it for and this is kind of like the standard logo associated with uh windows server all right so that's going to be it for this first video that was the introduction uh, next time we're going to move into files and permissions of the windows operating system glad you stayed along hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one so stay happy stay positive and as always happy hacking
Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.